So, on December the 6th, 2023, Diddy posted to his Instagram page, Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. And then five days ago, today is May the 19th. Uh, five days ago, he posted Time Tells Truth. A couple of days ago, CNN posted a video of Diddy attacking Cassie. We saw the video. If you have not seen the video, I will put the link to the description, uh, the link to the um, video in the description box. Um, and then today, we wake up and Sean, Diddy Combs, Puff Daddy, Love, Dancing Machine, Ike Turner, he posted a video, a statement. I guess some people will say it was an apology. You know, I like to call him Apollo Lies, okay? He posted a video today. And this is what Ike had to say. Roll that beautiful bean footage. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy going to rehab, had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. say something and I really don't want to do all of this carrying on today today is Sunday you know I know it is the day you know that is dedicated to the Lord and people are with their family and friends and um, you know getting things prepared for the work week and all that good stuff right I don't want to sound like a pessimist I really don't um, but let's just talk. <laughs> the first thing I want to say is this. I don't know who he's apologizing to. Is he apologizing to us? Or is he apologizing to Cassie? You know, I think a lot of times in these situations, especially when there is a celebrity who has, got, who has gotten caught, caught up, right? Um, they don't really care about the person who they have um, violated. You know, it's more so about the money at the end of the day, right? Um, because let's just call a thing a thing. The public is why these um, celebrities, some of these celebrities, I guess, a lot of these celebrities are, um, some of these celebrities are financially okay, right? Puff Daddy is who he is. Um, he is uh, in, in the position that he is in financially because he has received support 
from the public, right? We listen to his music, um, purchase his clothes, go to his concerts, um, do all the things that put money in his pocket. So of course, now that the money could be affected, I have to go and apologize to the people who, <laughs> girl, could really cancel me, right? Um, Cassie, not so much. Not so much. I think that um, for me, this is just for me, okay? Um, when it comes to apologies, one thing that I am tired of is people feeling the need to force other folks to accept an apology when they've been done wrong. That's one of the things that we're taught from the get-go. When somebody apologizes, you have to accept their apology. They apologize, listen to them. They're, they, 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 they're accepting accountability. You have to move on. Forgiveness is not for them, it's for you. Right? And then not to go, not to make this, this, this situation sound so trivial, and bring in, you know, the housewives. But we see this all the time, right? An example would be like the housewives. Um, when these women get into it and then, girl, they're forced to accept an apology and then, girl, next season, they get mad, it's mad day, and they bring the same thing back up. And then people are like, oh, you accepted the apology. Why are you bringing it back up? Because we force people to accept apologies when the truth of the matter is they're still mad. And I honestly believe that you can not accept someone's apology and still go through your life and live a happy, girl, positive, loving life. I really do believe that. I also believe that just because you don't give someone forgiveness, that does not mean that 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 automatically means that, oh, your life is just going to be in shambles and you won't be able to get eight hours of sleep. Girl, I cannot stand you, you stand your ass and still sleep like a baby at night. I cannot stand to see you and keep on walking by. Like I don't even like I've never even like I've never even met you before in my life. Now, I know that's not the same for everybody, right? But I don't like the narrative that's pushed about when it comes to apologies. Because I know there are people out there right now who are probably going to be DMing Cassie in Cassie's, you know, on, on her post. You know, he apologized. No, he did not apologize. <laughs> okay, that's one. <laughs> okay. But there are going to be people out there, oh, he apologized. I hope you can accept his apology and move forward, right? He's a taking accountability bull. Now, let's get into this video. Y'all do know Puffy is an actor, right? He's an actor. Puff Daddy um, was even on Broadway. I'm not buying anything that Nuku said in that video. I think he's horrible. I think he's disgusting. I think he's tired. I think he's dusty. I think he's through. I think he's delayed. I think he's a mess. I think he's trash. And you coming out with this apology, just telling bold face lies. Let me tell you something. It's so difficult to reflect the darkest times in your life. Girl, stop. I was disgusted. No, you wasn't. Because let me tell you something. That wasn't the only time that you put your hands on that girl. It wouldn't be okay if it was a one and done. Because one time is still too many times. Okay? One time, for somebody to put their hands on you one time, let me be very clear. One time is still too many times. But we know that that was not your only time putting your hands on that woman. 
And so now you come down here and you're talking about how you sought out professional help and got therapy, rehab. So now, now girl, now, now, now you in rehab, girl, now you done made your way to rehab. Now you in rehab. Now you done went and got therapy. Now you done went and got professional help. Where you get the therapy from, T.D. Jakes? Oh, 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 yeah, we been messy today. We been messy today. Yo, that's what you, you know, you know, because you know the girls really don't go to therapy. They'll go to the church. They'll go talk to the pastor. Can you pray for me? But you ain't really going to get no professional help. So when you said when you said that you went and you sought out professional help and you got therapy, was your therapist T D Jakes? Because that's what I'm thinking. You probably that's what I'm thinking. You probably with. Did you give him a shout out at the BET Awards when you was up on stage antagonizing and trolling this woman? who you know you had made her life a living hell. You know how you got to be in the head to know you've done the things that you've done to this woman and still get on stage while your other girl that you dating, hey, go poppy, is in the audience. And you're giving a shout out to Cassie. I'm committed to being a better man. No, you're not. 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 Puff Daddy ain't changing. Let me tell you something. Puff Daddy's not going to change, especially if his money doesn't change. I'm not buying the Apollo, the, the Apollo lie. I'm not buying it. The statement um, was BS. Um, I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. Um, I'm sick and tired of seeing people get online talking about, girl, God this and God that and pray. Hey, Kelly Price, girl, we're going to get into her in, a, in another video because I, I, I got to get up out of here. But I'm sick and tired of seeing people online bringing up God and Girl, just pray about it in the Holy Ghost and girl, the Son, the Father, girl, the Virgin Mary. All right, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Are y'all buying the Apollo, the Apollo lie? Are y'all buying the statement that he released? He didn't apologize to Cassie. He apologized to the public. He told the, he told the, he told the public what, the, what he told us. But he's not apologizing to the people who, he, who he's hurt. And, 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 and best believe, girl, Cassie is not the only one who he went upside their head. We still trying to figure out what happened to Kim Porter. Hello? Let me get up out of here. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Y'all have a nice day. Bye, y'all. You know what really makes my asshole itch is the fact that Puffy has made it his business to lie and to lie and lie and lie and lie and say that Cassie and these other alleged victims, we know Cassie ain't no alleged, hello? That Cassie and these other victims are just out here trying to smear his name, his legacy, um, whatever, 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 right? And you knew this whole time that you were over there swinging that girl every which way but loose. Every which way but loose. And you still came out and said that it was not true. You still, these things are, these things are not true. They did not happen. You know, some of y'all, you know, they're just trying to tear a good black man down, Savannah. He's a good black man. They're just trying to, they're just trying to come after another black man. Right? What y'all said about Bill Cosby? He's just trying to buy NBC. <laughs> He's trying to buy NBC and that's why they coming after him. They just coming after Puffy because he's a billionaire. They don't want a lot of black billionaires in the world. They don't want us to be billionaires. They don't like to see black people rich. He's a black man. How dare they? Dare they go after this black man?
Since I'm popping my fingers. He knew. We knew. We wasn't even there and we knew. We knew that. We knew that. And I keep saying girl. And the reason why I keep saying Cassie is a girl because Cassie was a teenager when Puffy came and snatched her up. A teenager. He would still be out here to this very day posting things on Instagram saying that people are trying to attack his character, come after him. You will still have his cheerleaders on the side, right? My eye, sorry, my contact. You will still have the people who are being a champion for Puff Daddy on the side, cheering him on in the name of him being a black man. And just like Slim said, we ain't got a lot of black billionaires. You will still have people who believe more than likely like a Kelly Price because he had you seeing some backup, some some backup, some 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 backgrounds going down to the studio to make some beats. Shout out to Nene Leaks. You still have people like Ellie, even though quiet as is kept Kelly, you were always an embarrassment. That's why that's why they only showed your face at one point. The face was hidden. Wasn't nothing wrong with the body, but because you were a big girl. We're going to get into Kelly in a little bit. Y'all, You know, I love Kelly. I do. You know, I, girl, I love Kelly. God was just in here listening to Kelly Price Mirror Mirror the other night. You know, that's icon. Uh, you know, Kelly is problematic, but girl, I will give Kelly. When it comes to the music, mama know what she's doing, girl. Mirror Mirror is an iconic, legendary album. Hello? Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and it's going to be what it's going to be. I, I'm not buying it. I'm done. It, 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 y'all let me know what y'all think. It, 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 he will still be down to the internet lying and making it seem as though people are trying to come after his name and his legacy. And now, because there's footage, girl, I, <laughs> girl, I am so, like, I'm so disgusted in some of the comments that I have missed. I, I said I wasn't going to get worked up today. I said I wasn't, I, I said I wasn't getting worked up. I'm so disgusted in some of the comments that I have seen online. Like, I really, like, I, like, in real, 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 real life, I'm really embarrassed for some of you. I'm embarrassed for your family members. I'm embarrassed for your children. I'm embarrassed for your mother and your father. I'm embarrassed for anyone who knows you. If you are one of those people online leaving these comments, still denying what you have seen, you are an embarrassment. And your mama probably should have swallowed you. You are an embarrassment. It is so sad. Y'all, 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 don't believe that somebody getting their ass whooped, and then when you see them getting their ass whooped, you still don't believe it. And now it's oh, Cassie must have stole. Cassie stole a hundred thousand dollars in a Rolex. Cassie did something to Puffy. That video ain't real. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gone. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.